So, uh, where are we going again, Took? Gee, you never remember anything. Okay, we're going over here to the cave that tells the story on the wall. Hey, I remember. You don't have to get sore about it. So, what story does it tell, eh? <sighs> the one about the bear who said he wasn't a bear. Oh, yeah. I know that one, like the back of my hoof. So, how does it start again? All right, in his totem ceremony, the human called Kenai got the bear as his totem. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. And the shaman told him that bear equals love. But he thought that was silly, eh, because he wanted the totem of the moose, right? Yeah. No, no, you hoofer, because he wanted to be like a saber-toothed tiger. Anyway, if you don't mind, I'm going to continue the story. Kenai went off by himself and got into a big fight with a bear. Then his brothers, Sitka and Danahi, came to the rescue. So, would you rescue me? Huh. You'd have to rescue me, because I'm like the tasty looking one. Yeah, tasty like rotten fish, eh? <laughs> hey, that's not funny. Bears like rotten fish. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot, eh? Sorry. Okay, go ahead anyway, eh? Go ahead. So anyway, his older brother Sitka held off the bear while his two brothers got away. But then the ice cracked and both Sitka and the bear fell into the river far below. Well, now you ready? Because this is the sad part. Hold on, give me a second. <sighs> okay, I'm ready. Go ahead. The bear was the only one who came back out again. Oh, gee, this is a sad story, eh? Not if you're a bear, eh? Oh, yeah. Right, so is that it? What? No, no, no. Then Kenai went hunting for the bear to avenge his brother. He found her and they fought. Did she eat him? Kenai killed the bear, but since the bear was Kenai's spirit totem, the spirits got involved. Uh, okay, the spirit of Sitka, he's the eldest brother, came down and transformed Kenai into a bear. Ooh, beauty. Hey, I hope you like being a bear too, eh? If not, maybe we could make him a moose. Hey, don't go giving away our parts. All right. Later, eh? Yeah, we'll see, eh? Okay, remember how we first met that bear and how he caused that big avalanche? Oh, yeah, that was real scary, eh? Kenai, I bet 
said you could jump over stuff like this log by hitting the jump key. Give it a try. See those bushes? They sure look like they could use a good swat. All you gotta do is press the action key. Then the path will be nice and clear. again. Just look for these acorns and they'll help you stop itching. Go on, try some. <sighs> oh, wouldn't you know it? It's those itchy shrubs again. There's a lot more of them this time. Come on, let's find another way. But Kenai, we have to go this way. Okay then, let's get this over with. Super itchy. Hey, look, there's a pool full of fish. Mom says they'll make us feel even better than those acorns. Just run over them to grab them. Let's go, Kina. I gotta stop itching. that this one might come in handy later. make my head look real big? Good, eh? I think there's some nice tasty berries over here.
those ancient secret caves. I've heard all about these. Oh, I don't know, Coda. What's that down there? Look! It's a special totem! Come on, Kina, we gotta go check it out! You see, the deer spirit is the symbol of togetherness for friends young and old. These fellows can be a bit jumpy sometimes, if you know what I mean. But the spirit of the deer is special because it is smart, witty, and always alert. Make it up there. On these things, my mom used to let me bounce on them while she was looking for food. It's really fun. Right. Bounce on a branch. A and I suppose you can tell me how that works? Yahoo! Hey, that does sound like fun. Wait till you try it. And can I? The best part is you can do it whenever you see a bouncy branch.
push you to the top of the mountain. Huh. I'm twice your size. And you wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> That's what you think. I was the fastest cub in the Bramble races last year. Just ask anyone at the Salmon Run. Hey, guys. How about starting us off on a race to the top of the mountain? Not now, eh? I'm resting my antlers. These things are heavy. Hey, Smallish Bear. I'll do it, eh? Ready, set, get more set! <laughs> Just kidding, eh? Go! Ugh. I need to rest for a second. Oh, 
nice, eh? Come back. fly. Just kidding, Coda. Just kidding. Gee, that ice slide looked like fun. I'd like to try that myself, eh? You'd probably break an antler. Oh yeah, well you'd break your, 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 your tongue. Yeah, you'd break your tongue, eh? Why would I be sliding with my tongue out? Well, to catch snowflakes. Oh yeah, I love snowflakes. Me too, eh? Why are we talking about snowflakes? I don't know, eh? I thought you were going to tell us what happens next. Oh, oh, yeah, gee, I got distracted there. Okay, sorry. Next, K and I and Coda have to cross that place where the ground is all steamy. Oh, I know that place, eh? It's really hot there. Not too easy to walk on, either. So, watch your step out there, eh? Nothing stings more than a burned hoof. Nothing smells worth either, eh? Especially your burned hoof. Oh, nice, eh? Pinecone breath. Crusty tail. Twig legs! Big nose! You went too far that time, eh? Okay, okay, I, I, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I wonder if that hunter will show up again, eh? Yeah, I hope not. He's got some anger issues to work out, eh? 
Hey, and I wonder whatever happened to Coda's mom. I'll bet we'll find out, eh? Maybe in another picture.